we get done, go back in the team facility to get breakfast, and um, my tight ends coach at the time, Coach White, called, said so he wanted to see me in his office. I'm like, oh man, this is great. You know, I was looking at you know starting this year and having a good season, so I'm like, he's probably going to congratulate me on on my efforts and how hard I've been working. Because uh, you know, I'm dominating every drill, the strongest player at my position, most con- probably one of the most conditioned athletes on the team, was winning all the speed races. So I come to his office. Asked me to sit down, shuts the door, and looks at me and he goes, um, Do you want to be great or do you want to be good? I'm like, what? Well, I'm thinking, what's he, what's he talking about? He's like, Because you're, you're working just hard enough to maybe be good. I'm like, What? What the hell is the, what is this guy talking about? Is he, where has he been the last couple weeks? See how hard I'm working. I'm better than everyone else out there. And he's like, he's like, you look confused, Joe. And I'm like, I, I think I am, coach. I don't know what you're saying. He's like, your, your efforts are not good enough. I was, I was kind of shocked at this point. I really had expected the conversation to go completely differently. I had really no idea what he was talking about. I was, I was blown away. He's like, let me explain. He's like, Joe, every time we have these conditioning workouts or in the gym or Anything. He's like, you win. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I do always. You know, I, no one beats me. And he said, um, that's where the problem lies. When we run these 200s and 400s, you run around the track and you win, you know, by a couple of feet here and there. And then he asked me, he goes, are you running 100% every time? I said, well, no, I, I don't have to. You know, I'm. I'm faster than everyone, I'm in better condition. I can run at 80% or 85 and, and win no matter what, especially when you're running like four in a row. You know, you gotta pace yourself to make sure you finish them all under time and, and everything. And he goes, that, that's the problem, your mindset. He goes, you knowing that you're better than everyone, your 80% is better than everyone else, is the problem. A kind of light bulb went on in my head, and I started to understand what he was saying. He's telling me that the winners in the group are the guys that are finishing behind me. They're giving 100% because they're selling out every time. They know they're not going to win. They know they can't catch me or catch the guy in front of them. But I'm the loser because on my sheer ability or talent or athleticism, I'm winning. I'm winning, you know, technically being in front. But because I'm not running flat out every single time, completely pushing myself, I'm a loser. It's tough to handle. I've never had anybody actually question my work ethic, um, question the manner with which I work. That's to me, is um, the biggest problem in our society today, it's people's perception of hard work. We compare ourselves to other people. 